Oh, he's gone sideways! Oh my god, how do we avoid him now? I have no idea. Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are in a GT3 car, the Ferrari GT3 in Ferrari Fixed. A car and a series that I have not raced for a very long time. And do you know what? I really, really enjoyed this race. We started P3 on the grid and you never know what to expect with these races. Very much like the Formula four races we can have some real good wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles and then also have a lot of crashes especially with it being down in d license but this race well you'll be glad to know it has a little bit of both with i will say a mega save probably one of the best that i've had on irating or made on irating so be sure to check out that and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below but i'm gonna stop talking let's get into it remember to hit that like and subscribe button turn those notifications on and enjoy here we go it's been a while since i've been in one of these let's see what it has in store for us Stop, Patrick. When's he gonna go? When's he gonna go? Oh, is the Rito car's gonna try and block me off. Someone's just absolutely overshot the corner. Nice oh, guy sending it up the inside. I don't think so. Ah, I followed him there. It was a bit wide. A bit careful. Cold tyres, cold brakes to start off with. Wow, he was on the brakes early. A little love tap there. Oh my god, this guy is absolutely just sending it. If you want to do that, buddy, you can do it. just gonna end up crashing I can, I can see it. I called it now. One's very aggressive and he's defending. One's very aggressive and he's passing. Sneaky, sneaky. Wow, 
I kind of want revenge on Sandy in regards to that send. Too shallow into that corner. Too shallow there. That's a wait to get on the throttle. Come on. Oh, he's gone sideways. Oh my God, how do we avoid him now? I have no idea. I'll take losing two positions there to being severely damaged and T-boning him. Mega save. Still got plenty of time to secure a podium here. Ten minutes left. I'm not gonna play silly games here. Back in time. Just show my nose, see what they do. Back up for the inside. in there. Well done, Rocco. A little bit of a gap moving up to Rocco behind now as well. He's under pressure from the guys, so hopefully that will alleviate us having to really look in our rear view mirror. One's gone into the distance.
that tyre made up there into that corner. Try and keep it tight, hit my apexes. better on the brakes into that long end of the long straight how long's left just under six minutes. Should be able to close the gap up here. Went wide right there. Five minutes to go. This is good. He's had a few big wobbles there. Surely his rears must be a bit hot. Traction's going to be a bit difficult for him. Pretty sure he moved over it just a touch there. Oh, I've got damage. I've got steering rack damage. Oh no. I mean, I really did think I was far enough over as I could be. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we, that's a real shame. That is a real shame. I'm pretty sure that wasn't my fault. Pretty sure that was the case. Uh, yeah, we can't. We have to box. We have to box for a fast repair. Absolute sitting duck. Let all these guys go. He sent a sarcastic thanks in chat. Uh, I think he'd moved over. But we'll reserve, reserve the remaining faults until we review it back. But that's a, that's a real shame because that was a good race. Around the last corner. And there we go. Ah, that was a shame. On for a definite podium there. Real good fighting until that point. Some innocuous contact, really, wasn't it? Side by side, it felt like. And um, reminds me of how fragile these, this Ferrari <laughs> GT3 is, always has been compared to the others. And uh, yeah, the slightest touch on. 
the wheel arch can give you suspension damage or steering damage as we had there so a real shame but uh, yeah let's go and have a look at uh, that incident in particular the big talking point of that race so guys here we are let's have a look at that incident uh, the one that unfortunately ruined our race I thought about maybe would I be able to do the cut back there? No, not enough, not enough drive out of the corner in these GT3 cars compared to open wheels. And then, okay, okay. Let's just watch that back in slow motion. It's a bit of a misjudgment on my part, isn't it? I, my faults, I gave him enough room there, or I had enough room to slip up the outside. He did break quite early compared to where I was. And then, yeah, it's kind of, he's back wheel arch on my front wheel arch. Definitely too close for comfort. I've just misjudged it there. Thought I had more room. I'm blaming that fully on me not driving GT3s enough. <laughs> Even in VR, just knowing how much wider these cars are compared to, say, a single seater. Um, I'm used to sitting in the middle of the car, not over one side of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, unfortunate as well, really, but that gave us so much of so much damage yeah I mean it seems quite innocuous doesn't it really but that just did my steering entirely and um, yeah oh uh, well uh, yeah take it back that's that's why you have to kind of I tried to hold my tongue as much as I could there wasn't going to say anything over radio because I wasn't entirely sure. Did he move over slightly? Or was it my fault? There's kind of that 50-50 going through your head at the time. Um, you have your inklings, but that's why it's always good to hold hold your thoughts and hold your tongue at least um, until you're able to look back and review it. Because clearly there, uh, if I said something that wasn't nice to Patrick... Um, I would have been in the wrong entirely and then eating my own words and apologising for saying stupid things. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that was a shame. But I'll tell you one thing we I do want to go look at. I want to look at two things, both involving Sandy, who was in the white Ferrari. One, how far back he sent it from. And two, that save where we avoided him spinning into T1. Still not sure how I didn't T-bone him. But uh, yeah, I want to go have a look at those two. So let's go have a look at the send first. I just want to see how far back it was from, curiously. Because, um, yeah, it was a good move. He kept it on the brakes. So I just want to have a look. So here we are with Sandy. Quite close to us. Wow. Okay, just... Yeah, see, so I broke in a... I braked in a straight line because he was on the inside. He's braked later, oh okay as well. So he's also braked later with the draft and just gone yoink, I'll take that. Fair enough, it was a good move. I saw it coming, thankfully in my mirrors and was able to avoid it and, and fight another day. So yeah, that was a good move for him, fair play. Let's have a look at where we avoided him into T1. So here we are into T1. Oh, that was so close. I've got to see that from a different angle. Oh, how did we avoid him? How did. Oh, I still don't know. I still don't know how we did that. We are in a chopper view. Oh, a proper take. It looks 
better and better from every angle. Um, oh, that normally blow my own trumpet, but yeah, that was that was a good save, guys. That was a real good save. Oh, I still don't know how I did that. And um, yeah, it's a shame that it, the race came to an end when it did um, and cut short because we was definitely on for a good result and a podium there, unfortunately. Yes, ended up at the back. But that was good fun. I enjoyed um, jumping back into the Ferrari fixed here. Um, a lot cleaner than I remember it as well. <laughs> so yeah, only uh, only due to my own fault, it seems, um, did our race end short. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of a change up for once, uh, getting out of the open wheelers into a closed cockpit car. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below if you'd like to see a little bit more uh, nice uh, Ferrari fix races. So yeah, thanks guys. I will see you all again next time. Bye.